so I will try to do some different things here. Uh, I will just film this stuff and do a voiceover. Right now I'm trying to do a backup from the hard disk drive there, the external hard disk drive, to the Macintosh SE30 right over there. And of course <sighs> I got a system error. Yeah, you hear me sighing there. I actually took the hard disk drive out of this Macintosh SE and put it in an external SCSI hard disk cabinet. This tape there is to make it uh, an 800 kilobyte uh, diskette because that's the only thing that that Macintosh can write to. The zip disks didn't work. Uh, there is something wrong with the uh, zip uh, reader. I guess the read and write tab cannot move as far as it should. So that was an idea I tried, but it didn't work. Yeah, the camera has uh, some problem focusing. It is starting up for now. Uh, this Macintosh doesn't start up every time I'm starting it. So there is some problem with it. I'm trying to make a backup, as I said, of the hard disk, the Mac 20 hard disk. And right now I can only do it with uh, 800k floppies, so yeah, it's uh, taking some time. I have copied almost the entire folder called Mac Special. Um, back in the old days the program and file were very tiny so you could fit 3 or 4 programs in one, one floppy, even if it was only 800k. The reason I'm moving all this to the Macintosh SC30 is because in this uh, in this Macintosh you see right now there is a physical spinning hard disk drive, and those are very prone to errors because the rubber gasket inside the hard disk drive usually turns to glue and just junks up everything. While in the SC30 I have a SD card. I have a SCSI to SD card. So it's a much better storage solution. That's why I'm trying to move everything over there. And then I'm just going to toss this hard disk drive out and replace it with a SD card as well. I just want to preserve the files and the program as it was when I got this Mac. I could probably just do... yeah, it's focusing much better now. I could probably just do a whole new install uh, of, you know, find new software and uh, everything and install it, but it's something special about having all those original files with you. Because someone has been working on this computer and someone has been using this as their daily driver, so... I think it, it, it might sound very strange, but the games that are there and the programs that are there, that is someone's life, kind of. So I want to preserve it. Now I got the entire Playmate folder there, and if I go out from that one, you can see that I got the entire folder called Mech Special as well. Uh, so all of that has been moved to a floppy drive. One problem is Quark Express, you see it down there, it's a 2550k and that will not fit on a floppy. So I'm not sure yet how I will do uh, with that one. Uh, I cannot use any compression tools because I cannot install any new software on this hard disk drive. It doesn't uh, it doesn't allow writing for some reason and it doesn't read all that well either because some files are not readable and it's just it's 
starting to give up. Uh, here you see I have 3.8 gigabytes free, so uh, you know that's that's a lot. <laughs> People could only dream of that. Uh, yeah, that's the file structure, and I'm trying to create the same one. I'm trying to create a folder called Applications, and inside that another folder called Mac Special. But then it turned out. The keyboard didn't work. Yeah. Bummer. So I just have to. I just have to uh, call them untitled folders and I will come back and rename them later. Uh, once I get a working keyboard. This is very strange because it has been working. I don't know what really happened. It just stopped working for some reason. Uh, but this old hardware, it's, it is like that sometimes. Another way I tried of uh, coping everything was... Uh, that's the reason why I put the hard disk drive in an external cabinet from the start. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the sounds. Uh, from the floppy drive. Yeah, the reason I put the hard disk drive from uh, the other Macintosh in an external cabinet to start with was because I wanted to use the SCSI port on this Mac to uh, copy it directly into the SD card. But it didn't work. Uh, this Mac could not read uh, the hard disk drive. For some reason, I don't know why it didn't work. But yeah, this is what I'm doing, moving over 800k at a time. That's all for this video. I wanted to make a short video because my last one was over an hour long. And now this is not even 7 minutes. Or not even 8 minutes, sorry. So yeah, uh, if you like this new short content, uh, tell me. Or should I make it long as usual? Please tell me in the comments. And uh, yeah, like uh, if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. I'm not forcing anyone. <laughs> yeah, thank you.